turn of phrase, but most of them don't have the balls to tackle the really great themes. I'm not sure I even know what the really great themes are. Abandonment, loss, castration. <laughs> well, it's never going to be one of my problems, thankfully. Chauvinism. Oh, that's tired, don't you think? What about Yeats? The celebration of the human imagination. The magician. Melancholy. It's all melancholic. The room swinging with emptiness, like an unswung bell. Valentin Ironmonger. I think the really great ones use words in such a way you can never take them back. Yeah, they do. To separate from life, from tantalizing mysteries and salt spray, from the grave gypsy eyes, and the sacred poignant flesh of long limb dancers. Unsullied, but not for long. She's memorized you, Thomas. I stole poignant flesh from Rich. I don't remember saying that. You were drunk. I don't think I'd ever use that word. Mm, I so ah. like you, Rich. You probably read more than anybody I've ever met. But <laughs> you always pretend you'd rather be drinking beer at a Red Sox game. Well, it depends on who's pitching. Mm. Mm. How did Wagner know the men would be gone? Sorry, still thinking about the murders. But Lewis Wagner, the man they hanged, how did he know the women would be alone? Oh, he's got a 12-mile row back to shore. Why take time to drink tea? A and why cover one woman's face and not the others? These axe murders don't seem to have the most razor-sharp intellect. Maybe her eyes were open. It was the sight of them, the accusation. Yeah, he couldn't stand to have her looking at him. That's an act of passion. Well, using an axe requires intimacy. Think about how close you have to be to your victim. Vibration in your hand, and the handle as the blade strikes bone. The spray of blood warm on your face. And standing over her, the last choking gasps. If he'd gone there with the intent to murder, he would have taken a gun. I think the killer was in love with one of the women. The murder was the only way he could possess her. I like that. Huh. 